blast people on live in front of 3,000 people and shit. What up, what up, what up? We back at it with another hot we live. I see the subscriber count booming. And I want to send out my respect to all the day ones and new booties on the channel. Much love. You already know if you missed out on the latest cheese man, we got you taken care of. So, uh, shout out to the hater world for this exclusive footage. If you guys are not subscribed to his channel, I'm going to drop his handles in the description so y'all can go watch the full video. With that said, salute. Let's jump right in it. We got the face of Baldwin Park, Lefty Gunplay, and he got some words to get off his chest about the recent event that unfolded over at Hoodstocks. Shout out Lucky. So, uh, pretty much Lefty's chopping it up with Blue Devil, letting him know that it ain't a big deal. What the world saw on that podcast happens behind closed doors all the time. Whether the homies are at a junta with the hood or Aiden's fifth birthday party and the homie Chucho gets all pedo la verga and starts tripping on everyone, the homies are going to boobop Chucho. And when Chucho wakes up the next morning, he's going to brush it off and laugh about it. At the end of the day, we're all homies and it's all love. Shit happens. Homies get out of line, they get checked, they get DP'd. Hey, as long as they don't fold or roll it up, they're always gonna be walking in the hood. Lefty just said the only difference was that it was in the public's eye in front of 3,000 people. And look, he should have watched his words better and that he was packing a blick the whole time during the interview. Yeah, Lefty was packing a blick. Lefty said, what am I gonna do? Pop Lucky on live in front of 3,000 people? So yeah, man, drop them comments and let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Shout out KJ Trece, Lefty, Blue Devil, Lucky, and a whole Hoodstocks team. Also, shout out Hot Wheel Media. Make sure y'all go give them a follow. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all can to see. It's like shit that happens uh, with the homies just in the backyard. But the difference was, if it was like that, then it would have been cool. But the difference was, is there's 3,000 people watching that shit. You know what I'm saying? There's 3,000 people on there. Everybody's in the room. Gang of homies and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm packing. We, we, we fucking... You know what I'm saying? I caught it when he told me, fuck you. And I was just like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But I'm packing the whole time. With, and then when that happened, what am I going to do? Pop this fool on life? You know what I'm saying? I, like, it was just it was just a crazy situation, dog. And everybody's just watching it. And as soon as, like, we got out of there, fucking cops everywhere on the motherfucking street. Everywhere. And then right now, my headphones even telling me on the gang that the fucking hoodahs are up and down the street. My pad and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a fucked up situation, like. Whether he says fan saw, whatever it was, whatever happened, fool, you can't take that back from me. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that you acted out that way. That platform did nothing for me. I didn't have to do that platform. I'm just doing the homie a bottle. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit my fault for going to do that, do the homie a favor and get on that platform. It didn't do nothing for me. I'm already popping. I don't need that platform. That shit just, you know, in my mind, it damaged it. I don't want to look at shit like that because that's not me. I don't get down like that. But the whole time I'm packing it, like, you know what I'm saying? But like, like I said, what, what the fuck am I going to do? Blast this on live in front of 3,000 people and shit. It was, just, it was just fucked up. It's over with. It's a dead issue, but yeah, I got to say my side. It, it, it's fucked up. You know, like I but said, the internet. In the backyard, if yeah. it was in the county, if it was in the backyard, that's different. Fact. Like, everybody that's in that room knows what's up, dog. What happened? Like, Would you go back on that platform? Hell no. Nah. They got to pay me. Okay, okay. They got to pay me, dog. It went viral. He got that out of it. Do I don't think, think he went into it. I don't think he went into it thinking, uh, doing it for, I think a little bit, doing it for the cameras, but I think a little bit, it's just the drugs and the alcohol, just, you know what I'm saying? That's what everybody, I was going to ask. Everybody, everybody, everybody in there is just a gangbanger, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants, want to have the bigger dick, you, you know what I mean? You think it was the, 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 the liquor and the fucking shrooms? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And the vibe in the room, just, hell yeah. <laughs> Just waking up with some much needed rest, my boy. Got some copy in my system. You know how it is. Program time now. Let's go. Ah, reading the comments. Hear everybody chiming in. <laughs> hey, this weekend on Hoodstocks, we will be live and we will address you know, a level-headed manner. 
Love you guys, dog. Stay blessed, baby. Hood Sox been the illest podcast since day one. Motherfuckers are barely finding that shit out. Realest on the planet. <laughs> and when you got real people, real things happen, dog. Shouts to all the fucking fields out there, dog. You know how we do it, baby.